In this lesson we're going to be talking about momentum and I guess the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is the definition of momentum? And very simply put, momentum is nothing more than strength of motion. Strength of motion, which really gives you an idea of what the equation might be. If you have a moving object, how do you increase its strength of motion? Well, obviously you can make it move faster, you give it a higher velocity, but there's something else that you can do. In order to change the momentum, make something have a stronger strength of motion, you can also increase its mass. So momentum involves two things. It involves mass and velocity. And as a matter of fact, that is how it's calculated. Momentum, the symbol for which is lowercase p, is actually mass times velocity. And there is our equation for momentum. Well, now that we have the equation for momentum, we can go ahead and we can solve some problems. So let's work through several momentum problems, and you'll see really how easy they are. The first problem says, what is the momentum of a 250 kilogram motorcycle traveling at 26 meters per second? Well, we're going to start out with our equation for momentum. Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Now all we have to do here is really just plug some numbers and units in. Momentum is mass and the mass of the motorcycle is 250 kilograms times velocity and our velocity given here is 26 meters per second. So the momentum of this motorcycle when we work this out it works out to 6500 and the unit since nothing factors out here is simply kilogram meters per second and I might note here that this is not a kilogram meter per second squared so it's not that force unit it's not a Newton it's just kilogram meters per second it's mass times velocity our next question here says what is the momentum of a 0 0.012 kilogram bullet that has a velocity of 800 meters per second in this case we're looking for the momentum we have the mass of the bullet and it also has a velocity we said of 800 meters per second so we're looking for momentum so our equation here is momentum equals mass times velocity momentum then is equal to mass which is 0 0.012 kilograms times the velocity which is 800 meters per second so the momentum works out to 9.6 and the unit again is kilogram meters per second just like that kilogram meters per second our next problem is very similar to the last two we just worked. This next question says, what is the momentum of a 0.145 kilogram baseball that is thrown with a velocity of 40 meters per second? And again, we're asked to find the momentum, we have the mass, and we also have the velocity of the baseball. In order to solve this, since we're looking for momentum, we have mass, we have velocity, we can use our momentum equation. Momentum equals mass times velocity. Momentum then is equal to the mass which is 0.145 kilograms times the velocity and the velocity 40 meters per second and when we work this out the momentum of the baseball is 5.8 and of course that's kilogram meters Per second. The next problem is a little bit different. In this problem, we're given the mass of the baseball, 0.145 kilograms. We're also given the momentum. The momentum is 4.0 kilogram meters per second. We're asked to find the velocity of the baseball. We're going to have to rearrange our original momentum equation. Our momentum equation looks like this. Momentum equals mass times velocity. Now we can use some algebra 
to rearrange this. But if you don't recall the algebra, we can set it up using this triangle that I showed you before when we were talking about velocity and forces. Remember that the horizontal line here simply means division. The vertical lines mean multiplication. So we're going to put the equation in like this. Momentum is equal to mass. Remember that vertical line is multiplication. Mass times velocity. So if we're going to solve for momentum, we just say momentum is mass times velocity. If we're going to solve for, in this case, the velocity, the velocity is equal to momentum divided by the mass. So our equation here is velocity equals momentum divided by mass. Velocity is equal to momentum divided by mass, just like that. Now we can plug in those numbers and units. The momentum, like we said, is 4 kilogram meters per second. And the mass of the baseball is 0.145 kilograms. And so the velocity of our baseball is going to be 28 meters per second. Now you might ask why does that unit work out to meters per second? Well if you look right over here we have kilograms being divided by kilograms so the kilogram unit factors out and that's going to leave meters per second. So we have 28 meters per second. Well here's one last problem. And this problem says what is the mass of a tennis ball that has a velocity of 70 meters per second and a momentum of 4 kilogram meters per second. In order to find the mass of the tennis ball we have to rearrange our equation and remember our equation here is momentum equals mass times velocity. And in this, pro in this problem we're looking for the mass. So we're going to have to isolate mass. Now I'm going to use a little bit of algebra to solve this. We want to isolate mass so we're going to divide the velocity out of this side and we have to do the same thing on the other side of the equal sign so we divide the velocity out here. Well, that factors out. So our new equation says mass equals momentum divided by velocity. So our new equation, mass equals momentum divided by velocity. Looks like that. The momentum given in the problem is 4 kilogram meters per second. We're going to divide that by the velocity. The velocity is 70 meters per second. And that means the mass is going to be 0 0.057 kilograms. And that is momentum. Momentum is strength of motion. And the equation for momentum is simply momentum equals mass times velocity.